racing is, uh, is, a, is something I've always wanted to do. I don't even remember the first time it, it, it started, but since I was a little boy, I've always loved cars and wanted to drive them, so. When I was a student, and yeah, I wish I'd been a student when this was a class, um, being in a classroom five days a week for however many hours it is, woo, how exciting. I don't feel happy like I do when I'm cornering at 70, 80 miles an hour and feeling three G's on my face. You know, that's, that's just pure joy. We provide an opportunity to those who could develop a passion for engineering and science to taste it, to taste the application. And in, in, the, in the case of my students who are actually running through the track and feeling the G-forces, to actually feel it. This is one of the more interesting things that I've ever done here. Hopefully it will help them understand the principles of science. Uh, when Dr. Jones and I would uh, go out on the walk, sometimes he would come out on the walk too, and we would walk around the track and got to chatting. So after many months, this concept of having a, a uh, go-kart class came up. It became more and more apparent to me that there were great opportunities to teach you know, physics, chemistry, many of the sciences using uh, auto racing as a model. In the beginning, we had talked with Dr. Jones and Mr. Hillier about uh, what particularly, as far as the science they wanted to cover, uh, and as far as uh, what kind of experience the students wanted to have too. Because we could make it all day long about uh, learning friction circles and aerodynamics and this and that, but it just wouldn't be as exciting as it would be if they were actually racing part of the time. I spent all of my, I spent all of my, my dear wife, I spent all of my Christmas vacation trying to find out more and I discovered the physics of motorsports and uh, that uh, the author of that had gotten a grant from the National Science Foundation to tie in NASCAR racing with uh, science. So I discovered that and I looked at that, mm, well, you know, maybe well, we could follow that. I was mistaken. It, it could uh, indicate a direction, but it, we couldn't actually follow it. Because putting together what the state requires to be taught in the physics class and have labs that correspond to that, uh, that's a big step. But we managed. We, 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 I mean, we went from there to the, the course that, that uh, made international news. The, the big thing for us, we've, uh, through working with MSA and the, the science classes, have learned uh, different ways to approach how to teach younger students. Uh, so part of, part of my class with younger students now uh, will go over different aspects or are um, taught in a different way than they used to be. Um, so maybe the direct approach works with some students, sometimes explaining things a little bit differently will work better with the younger students. We are hoping that as we can um, continue to refine the physics of motorsports, um, I think from my, from my perspective, we begin to go both up and down in the sense that we're working on a middle school curriculum that will include modules at the 6th, 7th, 8th grade levels that incorporate uh, the motorsports model and we take bits and pieces of each of those classes and uh, use this model to teach uh, some of the concepts and content and so forth. As you move up, I think there is a great opportunity to get into chemistry. Uh, another course that is often very theoretical and uh, it can often be very dry uh, if, if you're not careful. And uh, we can apply many of the concepts that are in auto racing.
And you'll know that you want to be a race car driver when no one has to ask you to get in the cart and drive around laps. You're the one asking all the time if you can get in the cart or in a car and drive. So. There was two sets of brothers, the Beto's brothers and the Cape brothers, and they were looking to create a facility for um, race car testing. Uh, so they came up with this facility, uh, and what they came up with back in 2001 is almost nothing, aside from the actual track itself, what it has become now. Um, when they first built the facility, uh, there were no pit garages, there was no pit lane to begin with. Uh, it was just the big shop and the karting track. Fast forward to a couple years, Mr. Anderson was in New Jersey with his Formula Car teams, uh, needed a new place to go to. New Jersey is had better weather days. Uh, when he started looking at different facilities, he moved, uh, looked at this facility, said, okay, it's got a big shop up front, perfect for putting the haulers at and loading the cars in and working on them, and it's got a testing facility in the back, perfect. 2007, December of 2007, they moved in, and they were on track uh, with carts. There were uh, unanticipated uh, time-intensive activities like finding out which go-karts to get, finding out what equipment would work, you know, finding out which uh, lifts should be what we should get to have the go-karts, uh, getting a trailer. A race car is, is now an airplane wing turned upside down. <laughs> the teachers had a day at the track at the end of the year before the course was taught. And uh, a few of them burned themselves as they got out. Some didn't get the direction to be careful of the hot engine. Uh, and so there was concern among the teachers that some kids might burn themselves. Well, uh, the track pointed out that a youthful body has a different center of gravity. Turns out that go-kart racing is a lot safer than football playing. Uh, we are ideally suited here at Manti School for the Arts because I've long made the argument that an arts curriculum and an arts-based curriculum particularly uh, is, is, first of all, the arts curriculum is the most creative, innovative, pushes students to be problem solvers of, of any, any um, uh, curriculum that's out there. And we move that over to a scientific setting. Those kids are primed to become the real movers and shakers who are going to ask those questions. And if they've got a solid education in, in the math and the fundamentals of science, no telling where they can go with that. Yeah, it's amazing. I've got as much hair as I do. You can go to a racetrack, be competitive, and have fun while still learning. That's just hard to beat. It's, it's fun for kids to dream when they're there. Every time I'm at the racetrack, I just I watch the little boys and, and the, little, the kids, you know, watch them just light up when a car comes by or a race car driver's there and they want his autograph. Because no one else had done it ever. You know, that was nobody to follow. I, I think that probably the, the best part about it for kids would be to, to teach them to you know, never stop dreaming and go after whatever it is you want, no matter what it is. No matter how many people tell you it's not possible or it's too much money or you're not, gonna, you're, you know, you're not the right person for this or you're not the right person for that. You know, just, it, it shows kids that you can do whatever you want if you put your mind to it.